you dickin? I'm not looking for company. You're in Paris, my friend. In this city, no one drinks alone. So, what are we celebrating? <laughs> we aren't. But if you're keen to get your teeth kicked in, I'll be happy to oblige. Mm. I'd have thought you were too busy kicking yourself. With good reason, I'm sure. What's it to you? You think you're the only man in Paris hoping to drown a guilty conscience? This city is filled with men like us. We all have good reasons. I've been watching you these past weeks. I have seen that you have no love for the Nazis. The question is, how many more people will die at the hands of these jackbooted killers while you sit there cowering like a whipped dog? Ah, you're mad enough to break that bottle over my head, but you won't lift a finger to help these people, eh? This isn't my country. Oh, did you abandon your conscience at the border? Does the need for justice end at some land drawn on a map? Aye, if it's a map of Ireland. You Frenchmen have unrealistic expectations. Open your eyes! The war is all around us. You can't escape it. You can hide here and leave the fighting to braver men. Or you can walk out that door and do what must be done. The choice is yours. Keep it down. That sort of talk will get us both a bullet in the back of the head. I intend to do more than talk. There is a courtyard around the corner. Meet me there when you are ready to stop hiding. Ah, I see you're a man who'd rather die on his feet than live on his knees. I'd rather the Krauts did the dying. Excellent. There is a German fuel depot down the street. Five thousand barrels of precious petrol, guarded by a handful of half-drunk supply clerks. Sounds like one hell of a fire hazard. My thoughts exactly. We'll need something to get the fireworks started. I know a place where we can get what we need. But first I must know. Are you prepared to kill if necessary? Way I see it. These Nazi bastards bought their own tickets to hell. I'm just laying out the welcome mat. The depot is just up ahead. We'll need to create a diversion to get past that gate. The Nazis are trained to investigate the sound of gunshots or an explosion. Use that to your advantage. Ten pounds of high explosive on that truck should get their attention. Aye, that'll do. Start by climbing that building. Once you're on the roof, keep your head down and wait until the truck explodes. Then, use that telephone wire to cross the street into the fuel depot. While the soldiers are distracted, move in quickly and place a charge on the primary storage tank. I'll meet you by the gate when it's done. Watch your ass, Irishman. Ah, oh, bollocks! <sighs> What's got into you, mate? What the hell are you doing? What's it bloody look like? Your whore is my girl now, Sean. I will not have another man picking up her skirt. Oh, huh? for fuck's sake, Jules. You're a driver now. You want respect on the circuit? You gotta stop thinking like a mechanic. All right, I'm put on airs like some posh wanker with a silver spoon up me arse. No thanks, brother. Veronique! Morning, beautiful. I'm coming along for the race. Vittore asked me to take pictures. Couldn't he wait till I'd made myself a little more decent? I don't believe in miracles. Oh, my sister got all the charm. And the brains. That's enough screwing around. We've got a race to win. You boys have work to do. Both of you. Say the word, boss. Let's get our girl on the trailer. I want to be across the border by sundown.
Ready to move out? The truck is loaded and ready to roll. And the Aurora? Trust up tighter than a nun's arse. Good. Veronique and I will ride ahead. You boys take the truck and head east to the German border. From there, it's a straight shot to Saarbrücken. I've marked the location on your map. I'm glad you finally decided to join us. We took the scenic route. You run into any trouble? Just the usual groupies, looking for autographs. A toast to Team Morini and Our Lady Aurora. To Signor Morini for taking a big chance on a dodgy bloke like me. Another round for me mates. Easy, Sean. You'll need a clear head tomorrow. Dirker flew in this morning from Berlin. Kurt Dirker? I thought he was retired. Speak of the devil. Guten Abend, Herr Morini. Always a pleasure to welcome one of our Italian friends to the Fatherland. I was just speaking of my admiration for General Mussolini. A kindred spirit to our own Führer. Your country is fortunate to have such a leader, yeah? Racing is my passion. I find little time for politics. Sometimes racing is politics. No. There is a difference. You must forgive my ignorance, Herr Morini. We Germans are a simple people. Perhaps you would enlighten us further? One's a hobby for rich assholes who can't get laid without a flashy car and a silly uniform. The other is racing. This must be that British mechanic who thinks he's a driver. I'm fucking Irish. It's getting late. Why don't we call it a night? The night is young, Fräulein. Stay. Dine with me. I've no taste for German cuisine. Not yet, perhaps. But soon, the women of your country will learn to savor the taste of a purebred German bratwurst. Bastard! Bullet! Quality! Bollocks. Watch it, you bloody... Fuck me, Skyler. Oh, are you chatting me up? Hello, Sean. Hi, oh, Jules. Nailed. We'll catch up later. Right now, we need to borrow your car. Well, so much for awkward small talk. Drive the fucking car! Hold on to your arses. <sighs> Nothing like a brisk evening drive to quicken the blood. Except perhaps a single malt McGarren, aged 30 years? Must be Christmas. Lucky for Jews and me, you came sliding down the chimney when you did. Christmas, is it? Oh, I'm afraid I've been a bad girl. Aye, I'm certain of it. Whatever happened after that weekend in Monaco? You never rang me up. You never gave me your number? Oh, that's hardly an excuse. You're not still pining for Jules' little sister, are you? She's a bit of a bore, don't you think? I don't think I'm her type. So, you in town for the race? What can I say? I have a weakness for men in fast cars. I've been all over Europe following the circuit. Mum and Dad are mortified, of course. Beats working for a living. I wouldn't know. What's this for? Shaving your legs? A girl should always carry protection. One day you'll have to tell me how you came by these scars. We've done enough talking for one night.
This is your moment, Sean. Remember what I taught you. I trained you to win. Watch your ass out there. These Nazi bastards are out for blood. Drivers to starting positions. <laughs> I'll see you at the victory party. No, Sean. I forbid did it. Did you not see what that bastard did? The race was mine, Vittori. Don't go looking for trouble. It finds us all soon enough. It's time we went home. I'll see to the Aurora. Wait for me at the pit. What's that? That is where the silver dart will be on display after tomorrow's ceremony. What ceremony? In honor of Joker's victory, the latest triumph of the Aryan race. Oh, bollocks. It'd be a damn shame if something were to happen to Joker's car before the big shindig. You mean some kind of freak accident? Oh, that would be terrible. Aye, tragic. Who's up for a little Sunday drive? I'm game. Where are you two going? Vittori told you to wait here. Uh, we won't be long. Jules, don't be a fool. If you want to get yourself killed, I can't stop you. But leave my family out of it. Jules is his own man. If I may chime in... It's not polite to eavesdrop. Didn't they teach you that in boarding school? Quite the opposite, actually. <laughs> Perhaps you were too busy screwing your teachers to notice. <laughs> Please, we can't all die virgins. Brother, let's go, Jules. You're making a mistake, Sean. <laughs> when did you become the voice of prudence? Dirke isn't who you think he is. Oh, he's not a motherless arse-faced knob jockey. He's dangerous, Sean. Let it go. Thanks for the tip. We'll see you girls later. <laughs> Over there, on the left. You don't want him to see us. <sighs> Looks like I need to work on my parallel parking. Maybe we should leave a note, eh? Dear Wanker, sorry about the bang-up. Send the bill to me ours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, give me right arm to see the look on that tosser's face. That can be arranged, Herr Devlin. Shite. <laughs> Juice! Hold on, Juice! Stay with me! Stop! Stop this! For God's sake, stop hurting him! Sir! <laughs> I'm here, Jules. Jules. Your friend cannot hear you at the moment. I'm afraid the pain was more than he could bear. Francisca tells me you have been eager to see the look on my face. I hope you are not disappointed. What the fuck is going on here? Do you believe I spend every waking minute behind the wheel of a race car? <laughs> I have other, more practical talents with which to serve the Reich. My services are in great demand of late. Why are you doing this? I'm a patriot. You're a fucking animal. We are all animals. 
beneath the skin. My godfather taught me that. He was a butcher, did you know? He taught me that the flesh holds no secrets. Once the skin has been removed. I had a long talk with your friend. He sang like a bird. But he could not tell me what I most want to know. And what is that? Bishop is not half as clever as he thinks he is. He imagines that we are all blind to his childish schemes. Typical British arrogance. Who the fuck is Bishop? Maybe you should be talking to him. Do not insult my intelligence. We know that you are a British agent. We know that you were sent here to conduct surveillance on this facility. What? You think I'm working for the damn Brits? You must be out of your bloody head. Enough. You will tell me every operational detail of your mission. You will tell me. One way or another. Pull your head out of your arse, man. I've got no idea what you're talking about. Your choice is simple. You may choose to tell me exactly what I want to know, freely and without omission. In which case, you and your friend will return to France to live out the rest of your lives in peace. So... Or you may refuse. How are you there? I'm right beside you, Jules. In which case, neither of you will ever leave this room. Make your choice. Now. Go fuck yourself! The interrogation will continue when I return. Thank God you're unharmed, child. Thanks, Sean. They would have burned me alive. These men were Gestapo. What are they doing here? Dierker sent them. Dierker? Oh my God. Where is my brother? Where's Schul? No! Get away from me! This is your fault! You took him to that place! Schul! We can't stay here. More Germans will come looking for these. Where will we go? West. It's our only chance. Right. To Paris, then. We'll get you home. Let's go. <gasps> Veronique! Oh, my child! Merci Dieu! We heard on the radio. The fighting at the border, we were so worried. I see you brought guests. These are Jules' friends, Jean and Vittore. They need a place to stay for a while, someplace discreet. Well, but uh, where is Jules? Did he not come with you? Maman... Uh, something terrible has happened. <sighs> Madame Rousseau. No. No, this can't be happening. Your son. He was like a brother to me. No, 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 mon petit fils! No! Young man, I must know. My son, Didi. Was it quick? Aye. Quick and painless. Bastard to kill him won't be so lucky. I took this from the farm. He would want you to have it.
sie zusammenfügte zu einer Einheit. Und wer das für uns einzutreten, was John! I believe you owe me a drink. But of course, my friend. So, did you see that explosion? Magnifique. Have you ever seen anything burn like it? Just once, but that was a long time ago. <laughs> well, we are just getting started, my friend. You have a talent for destruction, John. I believe we may have found your true calling. John! Oh, please excuse me, Monsieur Godin. I did not know you were acquainted. We've just met. It is an honor to meet you, monsieur. Please, call me Luke. Yes, I have read all your books. I don't think you're here to discuss literature. Have you heard about the explosion at the fuel depot? Aye, nasty bit of business. Somebody must have got careless with a cigarette. The Nazis are in a fury. They've been arresting suspected rebels. Sean, they took Vittore. Where? La Villette. The old slaughterhouse. The prisoners are going to be shot. We must do something. <sighs> there is no turning back now. In for a penny, in for a... What's the plan? First, you're going to need a change of clothes. Come again? Kill that sentry quietly and take his uniform. Bloodstains will ruin the disguise, so use your hands. Once you're dressed, slip inside the compound through that tunnel. You will need to move fast. The British bombers will be overhead any minute now. Where will you be? I will secure the transportation and meet you inside the compound. Now hurry! Go! Sean, I knew you would come. They were ready to execute us. How did you get yourself into this mess? I will explain later. This fight is not over yet. <clears throat> Sean, look, how bad is this? The bullet won't kill me, but those bombers will kill us all if we don't find cover right now. How much time do we have? There is no time. The attack has already begun. All right. Everyone head for the basement. Now! Move your... Grateful for that. When I saw the damage caused by the bombing, it was terrible. I thought everyone had been killed. What happened? I stood up when I should have ducked. Maybe you should stick to writing books. How bad is it? The wound is filthy. He will need antibiotics. I'll find a chemist. Antibiotic supplies are tightly controlled by the German military. Then I'll go knock up the crowds. There's a better way. You see that man standing over there? The one grinning like a cat with a cream-flavored arsehole? He's called Santos. I've seen him at the Bell. He's a black marketeer. He can get what we need. I'll go have a chat with him. Ah, muy bien. 1922. El primero. Lucky for us that German Major didn't have a chance to open it, eh? You got the stuff? I have what you requested right here. They say Santos is like the poster service. Always reliable. Uh-huh. Cheers. Uh, oh, oh, momento, Irishman. You are out of a job, no? I might have worked for a man with your talents. Sorry. I'm on holiday. Then I might have something else that would interest you. When you have finished here, come find me. My place is right across the street. Listen. Oh, good. The wound has become infected. I will stay till he's back on his feet. You can't stay here. Come on, I'll take you back to the bell. No. You will not. Veronique, I'm just looking out for you, that's all. The way you looked after Jules. Huh. That will not be necessary. I hoped we had found shelter from this storm. It seems fate had other plans. How did you get picked up? I was recognized by an informant. Any idea on who the rat might be? I don't have a name, but I know he is planning to meet with a Nazi officer outside the bell. I'll follow this crowd. He'll lead us right to the snitch. Yes, that is one way. You have another idea? I saw the German put the informant's letter in his pocket. 
If you had that letter and the German officer's uniform, you could find this Judas before he collects his 30 pieces of silver. Where I come from, snitches get paid in lead. My friends in London send their love. They're in your debt. I'll know who to call if I ever need to make bail. I'm afraid I have some bad news as well. My sources confirm that Kurt Dierker survived the explosion at the Grand Prix. Son of a bitch! That cockroach must have made a deal with the devil. They won't save him this time. What's the situation on the ground? That stunt you pulled at the race started a wildfire. Now the Nazis have their hands full trying to contain a citywide uprising. Dierker set up a temporary command post at the Eiffel Tower. Rumor has it the bastard's lost his mind. Get me down there. This isn't over yet. How do you feel, Mr. Devlin? Oh, I could eat a nun's arse through a convent gate. I see. But I'll settle for that case of scotch. I was wrong about you, Devlin. We'll make a hero out of you yet. Thanks. But I made other plans. We'll be in touch. Where are you going? You know where I'm going. You will need help. No, Veronique. I'll do this alone. Jules was my brother. And my parents. Jerker will be leaving the city soon. We best get moving. Your failure is my failure. My disgrace is yours. The punishment is death. This just isn't your day. <laughs> was the only one who ever escaped. It is fitting that you should be the one. I won't argue with that. One day, history will thank us for what we have done. Holding back the mongrel hordes while you people cowered in our shadow. You could never understand the burden of my duty. Killing you could never make up for what I've lost. My friends will still be dead. And I'll still have to live with the things i done. <laughs> Is that why you are here? Did you think that by killing me, you could wash the blood from your own hands? <laughs> That's tragic. <laughs> we are going to hell, aren't we, Irishman? Maybe. But you'll get there before me. Is it over? No. It's not over. I'm just getting started. <laughs> <laughs> 